All right, y'all, back at you. So today we're gonna go hunting. What are we hunting? Um, we're hunting paper wasps. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So a couple months ago, we found a killer paper wasp nest down in the woods here. And um, I uh, got these uh, garden shears here and we're gonna go cut it down and uh, grab it up, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what are we gonna do if there's bees in it? Um, not cut it down. You're gonna cut it down with the... I'm gonna, I figure I'll cut it down let it drop, and then I'll just grab it up and run with it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. So we're hoping that the bees might have abandoned the nest. Um, and if they have, we're, we, are gonna, we are actually gonna cut it down and uh, maybe display it in the garage or something like that. But um, the problem is, I guess, is that if they have abandoned the nest, um, we'll get going here, guys. But uh, if they have abandoned the nest, um, it might have deteriorated some from the rains we've been getting. So um, we're gonna go, we're gonna walk down here and see if we can find it. Yeah. We couldn't find it the last time we were down here, but. Yeah, best, best case scenario would be like, they abandoned it a week ago, five days ago. Yes. But that's probably didn't happen. That'd be best case scenario. What'd you say, Reese? We found it when we were getting mushrooms? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You're There's a mushroom right there. Here, well, we oh, yeah. Kind of late in the season for mushrooms. For, it's almost November. But, all right, where was this paper wasp nest? I think it was. Ah. Let's see, where is it? I thought it was over here a little more, and maybe down a little more, like right where the hill starts to have to be dropped down. But I know it was like in the, uh, in these trees, like yeah. these kinds of trees. It's real easy to climb. Uh huh. You shouldn't have said it's real easy to find. Yeah. You jinxed us. All right, I don't think it was too much further than this. I think it was further. You think it was? Yeah. So guys, it was hanging down uh, about, oh, there it is, bummer. So it has deteriorated a lot, actually. We'll get a, see if we can get a close up look at it here, guys. Oh man, you know, I'm still gonna try and get it. I'll tell you what, buddy, here, you come here. You come here and take the camera. Okay. I'm gonna cut it and see if we can, uh, Salvage, yeah, it's kind of rotted. Let's see, where is it attached to? This branch up here? Where am I gonna get that? It looks like it's attached to everything in the matter why are you standing so far back <laughs> come here so check it out so this was a huge nest you can see how big it was um, earlier in the year but uh, I guess that it's been abandoned for quite some time now we got a heavy heavy rain the other night yeah um, but it's still pretty cool especially from this angle it looks like yeah. a big uh, full we could just kind of like throw some popsicle sticks or something in there to hold it up yeah all right I tell you what guys we're gonna put the camera down and let me see I'm gonna give him a quick view of it. We're gonna put the camera down and uh, see if we can get this back up to the house and maybe we'll get a closer look at it uh, when we get up to the house. So we'll, we'll, um, we'll get right back with you. All right guys, so we got it back. We got out of the woods with it. It's super cool, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's like two feet long almost. Um, in the middle of the summer, this thing was fully round and we couldn't get too close to it because there was a lot of wasps in it and you can see there's their uh the inner layer of it right there you know sometimes you'll see just these little honeycomb things like sticking on your garage or something yeah. like that like a little a little patch of it sticking on your garage or uh maybe on the side of your house or even off a you know a tree or something but um you know if these nests if they grow large enough then they start to cover them um you see i mean if you can see this they just use the, the tree even look at this back here like the wheat, they, they just kind of wove their, uh, their, uh, 
pattern right around the leaves here. I believe that the, the it's called a paper wasp because I believe they, uh, nice well, this that's what this is. They go and, and chew little pieces of, I don't know, wood from somewhere. Uh, I don't know what kind they like or whatever, but uh, they chew it up and then they, they bring it back to the nest and that's, and then I guess there's probably some bees that then use the uh, chewed up pulp or whatever to make the nest, but man, it's super cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if this is a keeper or not. I, I gotta be honest, guys, I've wanted one of these for a long time. Um, uh, I went to a, uh, a workshop one time, this guy had uh, one dis just displayed in his workshop, and it was this big, beautiful nest. I don't know how he got it. I, he must have been watching it every day, or uh, I don't know, maybe he smoked the bees out of it or smoked the wasps out of or it. Or maybe it was on his house and he just yeah, like, he would watch it every day and he smoked the bees out of it one day and kept it. Yeah, but uh, I've wanted one for a long time. It looks cool from this side. Maybe we can yeah. somehow restore it and display it like that. Yeah, like like I said, maybe put some popsicle sticks in there to, to just keep it up or yeah. something. All right, cool. The boys say they want it in their room hanging over their bed, right? Uh, what do you think, Reese? No. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. It, it'll all right, guys. Like well, nature show. all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed our little adventure here. If uh, you know, post a comment down below if you have any other uh, information or uh, any questions. Uh, until next time, everybody out there, take care. Bye.